What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this lovely Saturday morning at the Autobahn. It is sunny, it is cold, it is the perfect day for a nice turbocharged car. In this case, David's Audi S3, the 8P generation and it's the Sportback, the one I love. So I don't think I've ever driven an S3 8P to be honest, which is kind of weird since I've been doing performance car reviews for 15 years now. So yeah, I love the fact that I get to drive it. I did drive the RS3 many times, but I think this is a first, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm getting old. Um, it does have a stage two tune on it and it is quite an experienced car. It's a 2010 model and it has done nearly 200,000 kilometers. So normally that's a recipe for disaster, especially with sort of these kinds of performance cars that were very expensive, but now 15 years later are getting, you know, a new audience, let's call it that. And I don't want to be disrespectful of current S3 owners, especially not David, because this one is a, in a perfect shape. So I really have to compliment him for that. I love the fact that it's sort of still stock. We do have some black accents going on. Uh, I would have loved the chrome bits back like the, the, the mirror caps that are still on here. These are the RS3 wheels, if I'm not mistaken. We have new front brakes. Uh, David did everything to make it as nice as possible. We have Michelin Pilot Forest tires, which I do really appreciate. The biggest drawback of this specific specimen, <laughs> like, okay, a Krapovich exhaust. Uh, it's just a Miltec 200 cell downpipe combined with a resonator delete, and it sounds absolutely perfect in my opinion it's just a little ruined by the fake Akrapovich tips I don't really get this because you know people who know Akrapovich appreciate the brand recognize the brand uh, they know that this is a fake and other people like my mom would think what does that say is that a wizard from Harry Potter or ah very nice looks very clean so, two liter turbocharged engine, of course it is. Um, combined with an S-Tronic dual clutch gearbox, in this case the DQ250. In stock form, not the nicest gearbox, but this has had JD engineering tune for both the gearbox and the engine. Stage two pack, racing line intake. As I said, a Miltec downpipe with a 200 cell cat. The high pressure fuel rail valve from an R8. Different fuel pump, high pressure fuel pump, and of course, software has been done. We no longer have 265 horsepower, but 376, and no longer 350 newton meters, but 500. So that's quite the upgrade. I do feel like these floor mats aren't completely OEM. I feel like the foam is a bit off. Other than that, the interior looks really, really good, really well maintained. And I love these Alcantara leather seats and, you know, all the chrome bits. It all looks really, really good. Little MMI system right there. And we have some beautiful analog dials with the classic digital display that Audi used back in the day. But this is such a practical car, especially being a Sportback. This is sort of an Audi Avant Mini, and I think it's just a superb recipe. Just the two liter, we have quattro all wheel drive, we have that dual clutch gearbox, all the space you need for a small family. I really appreciate this car, really. Like, it doesn't have a loud exhaust, which Again, I really, really appreciate. You just have a little bit of an intake sound, a little bit of a turbo spool up sound. And other than that, it's sort of OEM like, which I think is a good thing. Really nice flat bottom steering wheel. So you have a 
bit more leg room right here. Look at that. We don't have sport mode or comfort or individual. It's just you stick the gearbox into S, turn off the traction control, and then you're all good to go. So let's just do that, right? So stock 0 to 100 with launch control 5.6 seconds. So let me demonstrate. And there we have it. But that is 4.2 seconds. So we've scraped off 1.4 seconds, which is a tremendous amount. In manual mode, very nice upshift, really nice crisp upshift. And that's just a nice exhaust note. I think, you know, this with the resonator delete and the 200 cell downpipe, absolutely perfect for this car. It doesn't need to be loud. I mean, David told me like, if I'm having a, a loud car, it better be a V8. <laughs> I completely agree with him. It feels so fresh. I mean, David is a mechanic, so that does explain a lot, but it's so nice. It's so nice after 190, 3,000 kilometers, which we are going to get in this video. Hopefully, only three remaining. Um, but the gearbox has been tuned, and I have to say, it feels a lot better than the stock form DQ250, which is a gearbox I just don't really like anymore. And I was told <laughs> it wouldn't auto upshift. <laughs> but it just did and I'm in manual mode EC off can we try that again it, it does auto upshift okay <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong here but let's just stick it into S and give it some back like at the end of the um, of the gear so I'm going back into manual mode and, my, and I'm going to shift manually at like six and a half thousand because I feel like we're losing power approaching that 7,000 rpm red line yeah this feels nicer to 200 a little over 11 seconds which matches the latest Audi S3 which I think is a nice number um, it should be a little quicker maybe but I think the gearbox in this case is the limiting factor because I do feel like we do suffer from a bit of clutch slip time to time so slip is equal to losing power but you know given the fact that it's 15 years old and has done 193,000 it is so good Suspension, just lovely. David did a coilover kit. Not sure about the brand, but it is very, very nice. It is so stable. It is so rock solid. I wouldn't even call this a hot hatch because, you know, in essence, it's just a fast S3 or a fast A3. The S3 is just a fast A3. Um, it's not a very engaging car to drive. You don't get any 
feedback from the steering. Um, you don't really get connected to the car. It is a very nice daily though. It's a very nice Audi little estate that has a very nice amount of power. And I just love this car, really. I love it. It's a fantastic little thing. Little tunnel run for you guys to end this video. Just perfect, not too loud. Little bang on the upshift. Oh. Even though it, it's not the most engaging car to drive, those Michelins really What a nice car. I love this. I love this. Thanks, David, for bringing your car over. Thanks to you guys for watching the video. Hope you liked it, and I'll see you at the next one. Bye.